Hello, my name is Joe, and we're going to be looking at setting a prefabs to static messages inside of Unreal Engine. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3 dassetlibrarycom for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Now, when you create a prefab, if you don't know what a prefab is, I've got a video on how to set one up. I've got examples of a project I'm working on here. So if I go to say one like this, well, this is it's a, a prefabricated um, asset. So what's here is these are all individual and I've used a prefab to create this here, and you can see it's got a variation. And if I move to, say, uh, let's look at this one, um, that's another variation. It doesn't have to be used just for buildings. If I scroll down here, I've got um, something for my uh, food cart here that these are all individual pieces I've added. And then what this allows me to do is then drag it into the scene, and I've got a ready made sort of, um, in a way, fixture or pref prefab. And so what happens with this is that. And um, this drove me nuts for a while because um, I couldn't figure out why. Is that sometimes when you're baking the lighting, you're building the lighting, your lighting and your shadows and that won't be right for a prefab. And um, as I say, I pulled my hair out with this because it took my, I couldn't figure out why it was doing it and whatnot. But it's a very simple fix. So what you need to do is in your prefab, just don't double click on it, is what you want to do is you want to select your meshes, anything that's not movable. So if you've got, say, something like the spinning, obviously you want that to be movable. So you don't want to, you know, you want lighting to react with it correctly and um, things like that. But anything that's not, what you want to do is you want to select it. So in this case, select them all. And over the right here, you want to select, select this from movable to static. So by default, everything's movable and then set it to de static. And if you've got any of these prefabs in your scene, what this will do is you'll get a list of things come up on the screen saying so-and-so, so-and-so has been updated. So in this case, it'd be like building V1 has been updated or, you know, there could be like hundreds of them depending on how many you're using. Now, what this does then is this allows the, the light to react properly um, to your object and treat it properly as it should be. I also found that there's been performance increases uh, for me personally when doing this. I don't know why, um, you know, I don't know whether it's just to, to do with the, the lighting just itself, so obviously not having to process so much that's movable, things like that. But yeah, so hopefully this helped. If it has, please do like, subscribe and hit that bell.